Hey everyone, welcome to From the Depths. I'm Minty, and, and this is episode uh, 18 of the Battleship Brawl Tournament. Uh, in this episode, we have the Borg Cube by Delta Force going up against the Broadhead by myself. Uh, both ships have been seen in previous episodes, so uh, we're going to get right down to it as soon as I bring up the stopwatch app on my phone. There we go. And begin. Vectory settling into the water, the broadhead starting to move, sailing straight at the board cube. Uh, it's really not what it wants to do here, because, yeah, now here come the shells. Oh, they're, uh... It's surviving the onslaught so far. The board cube took some uh, damage back. But... I'm not sure why it's sailing straight at it. The AI is uh, not set up to do that. But it, it, the AI does what it wants. You know how it is. Let's see how the board cube's doing. Uh, it's taking some shots. But it looks like that uh, foam armor and uh, spaced armor of it is doing quite well at mitigating the damage from the, board, or from the broadhead. The broadhead is also doing rather well at uh, surviving the onslaught from the board cube, except now it's down to a single gun. It has lost all of its guns except one, and that one is barrel damaged. Oh, that's, a, that's not a good situation for the broadhead. It seems the board cube has taken some serious damage to its guns as well, though. It's not firing as many as it normally does. So it is 61% on the broadhead, 92% on the board cube. Yep. Oh, where'd the broadhead go? It is under the water, that's not good. And yeah, that is, uh, that is sinking. Oh, well, it may despawn from 80% and sinking here. Oh no, it came back up. The repair bots seem to have gotten something fixed there. Oh, did that skip off the... I think that was a skip off the water, actually, because that, that part of the ship was actually slightly beneath the water line. Or cube, even though it's high on block count, seems to have taken some pretty significant damage. Because it's it's not launching the shells like it normally does. And the broadhead's actually doing a good job now that it's not just sailing straight at its opponent of evading the damage. It's uh dodging a lot of the shots. And I mean it's it's taking meaning, but it's back up to 64%. Oh, there was a big volley gonna have a hard time bringing its guns back online with uh, all those shells raining in on it though. Plus it's taking so much damage I don't know if it has the resources. Oh come on Broadhead, you should have uh, kept going there and kind of orbited it, got around to its side and you, you can maybe get into some side shots but you know, it's uh, fleeing and taking some shots to the rear now. It's back down to 61%. You can hear those repair bots just repairing away. I'm interested to see how well that... Yeah, you can see that the penetration diffuses on the broadhead are actually getting in here and doing some damage to the, uh, the deeper components. Is probably why the board cubes weapons are not functioning quite as prop quite as well as normal. Let's see, I think that one got really deep in here, did some serious damage. But uh, it's not it's just not enough with only one operable gun. Even though that one gun is being effective. It's uh one gun just it's not gonna be enough to kill the board cube, I don't think. I mean, the broadhead is surviving. It's showing off its durability here. It has taken a lot of hits. And uh, I believe this is the longest anything has survived against the Lord Cube so far. It's quite the battle. But the, it's just that one gun. The Lord Cube managed to blow off so many of the broadhead's guns. I don't think it's going to be able to pull the win out of this. Even though its, its shells are being accurate and effective even with the, uh, the armor scheme of the board. I mean, 
mean, it is blowing off pieces back here. Important bits and chunks of the uh, Borg Cube's weaponry. Let's see if we can get a, an internal view of the explosion or anything. Nah. It, it, that, that's a bit difficult when this thing's moving like this. Yeah, if the Borg Cube were to stay out at a distance, or the Borg Cube, the Broadhead were to stay out at a distance like it, like it was, the Borg Cube seems to have trouble hitting it. While it's able to hit the Borg Cube just fine, it would probably win this fight, but uh, it, it keeps getting in close, but then rather than uh, flanking around its side, it tends to uh, turn away. But if, if it keeps hitting in those same spots, it's eventually going to take out something critical. end up hitting ammo or hitting the AI or, AI or something because the board cube is having trouble actually dealing any damage to the broadhead now as well even though it has more operable guns that one didn't look like it got very far before it detonated oh I should check the range how far is that that's a little ways out there but it's within range 850 meters is well within range and it's already coming back That shot just barely missed. That one's going to miss as well. So is that. So is that. Uh, the damaged barrel on the broadhead doesn't seem to be impeding it much. It does miss the occasional shot like that one. Probably due to the accuracy issues caused by... Oh, that just popped the last turret. The, the broadhead no longer has any operable weaponry. That's a shame. And there it is, 54%. It is now too damaged and going to despawn. Yep, there it goes. That is it. The first round goes to the board cube. Go ahead and get this restarted. Eventually. One computer. There we go. get everything spawned back in and we will see how uh, round two goes here. Hopefully the uh... So what I really hope will happen is that the, the broadhead won't just sail straight at the board cube like it did before because that's what got it hit. Oh, I just loaded in the sledgehammer and not the board cube. Whoopsie! Let's just go ahead and restart it to make sure nothing's messed up. underway. Let's see if the broadhead can uh, do a little better this time. Not sail straight at its opponent. Nope, it's sailing straight at its opponent. Because part of the problem with that is not all of its guns can fire whenever it's sailing straight at its enemy. Uh, some of them block each other. So they end up getting blown off before they even get a chance to fire. See, like the, that front gun's been blown off. Now it's now it's turning, which will allow its more rearward guns to get some shots in. It's in a, in better shape than it was last round at this point. So now it's sinking. Oh no! Well, not quite. The back is still buoyant, but it, it has five guns instead of just one, like it did before when it reached this point. That could make a huge difference in how this battle plays out. Yeah, that, that high explosive is probably not going to do very much because of the armor scheme on the front. Unless the, the Broadhead's other guns have blown away the, uh, stripped away the, the foam and spaced armor. Right. 
Okay, so you can see those shells are getting pretty deep in there. And they're uh, blowing up uh, important bits. Despite the armor scheme. So I... I basically did my best to optimize the Broadhead's guns to penetrate about 7 meters of uh, metal beams before it uh, before the shells detonate. You can see those explosions are getting deep in there now. Like we've got a hole all the way through the back of the board cube. Yeah, these extra guns being online are making a huge difference. Uh, I did lose one. It lost the uh, the outside secondary. Stop sailing right at it. You're gonna get blasted. Granted, the 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 Borg cube's uh, weaponry seems to be much uh, more subdued now. It's taken a lot of damage. And here, its repair bots trying to repair wildly, trying to fix things, get get the ship back in fighting condition. Uh, the Broadhead's down to 71%, the Borg Cube's at 81 but uh, it, it's looking to me like the Broadhead is in better overall condition. Ooh, the Borg Cube seems to not be a... Uh, oh, it, the Broadhead just got a side shot and that could be devastating. Don't know how good the side armoring is on the Borg Cube here. Doesn't seem to be anywhere near as thick. Yeah, I think the the extra guns being online this time have uh, made a huge difference. Still within range, just giving that a quick check. See, it is getting kind of far out there, but oh, now now the broadhead's making its way around behind the board cube, where it's probably even weaker. Oh, big hit there! Board cube lost, I believe, it lost an AI. I think it had eight to three before. Now it, and now it's down to two. Oh yeah, something has gone terribly wrong with the Borg Cube systems. Something, I think the engines may have been damaged because it's, it's no longer attempting to move. And with the broadhead behind it like this, that is, that is fatal. That is not going to work for the Borg Cube. And you can see the broadhead's repairing up. It has pretty, it has pretty good repair capabilities. And it's able to weather that storm of fire for a time anyway did not work so well when uh, it only had one gun. Oh, I think it may have just hit... Was that ammo or did it just hit... Uh, I'm not sure. I didn't see exactly where it was. Borg cube down to 71%. Broadhead's all the way back up to 80%. Gotta give it to the Borg cube though. It is very durable as well. It is taking quite a few hits. And uh, it's, it's still alive. Hasn't lost its AI hasn't uh, become too damaged, hasn't started sinking. Granted, all the wood in the Borg Cube will help with the not sinking thing. Wood is incredibly buoyant in front of the depths. But the Broadhead getting all this time to repair is uh, not good for the Borg Cube. It's even if the Broadhead does move around, back around in front of it temporarily, it is out damaging its repair bots. It looks like round two is going to go to the to the broadhead here. Oh, that wasn't. It has taken so much damage that shell over penetrated. It did not manage to hit enough blocks before detonating. Oh, and that is it. I think the broadhead or the board cube is AI dead. Man, it's really screwing me up to have uh, both entries start with a B. I keep interchanging their names. Yep. And there we go. The broad or dang it, the board cube <laughs> is despawning. All right. So this is going to a round three. Uh, maybe if my computer will open up the escape menu. There we go. Restart this. All right. Spawn on the broadhead. 
Set and things underway. So we're gonna take a look at the Borg cube as it fights this time. Oh, does it have those propellers simply for turning? That's interesting. We're trying to keep it. Oh, the broadhead's turning much earlier this time. That will probably do wonders for its survivability. Also, let it get off a much larger initial volley, even though it completely missed with most of it. <laughs> Let's see how the, the broadhead's doing it. It has not lost any guns yet. That, that is the difference between uh, sailing straight at your enemy and actually angling <laughs> so that some of the shots miss. And yet, here comes another big volley from the, the broadhead. That one's uh, more on target. That's going to do some damage. Yeah. Yeah, look at all of those missing blocks. Big hits there. How's the broadhead doing? Still has not lost. Oh, it seems its rear guns have lost its, their AI, though. They are no longer aiming. Oh, and that turret just popped off. But, uh. Oh, another AI seems to have gone down on the secondary gun there. Oh, the turret popped. Okay. <laughs> oh. Broadhead only has two operating guns for the moment. Those guns are still alive. They're just uh, their AI has been uh, eliminated. And one of those, one of the Broadhead's operating guns is a pure AG cannon, so I don't think that's going to do very much unless it happens to go through a spot where the uh, the foam armor, like that, exactly like that, where the foam and space armor has been stripped away and it can detonate inside the board cube. It, the board cube seems to be having some issues here. You know, it's at 88% and the broadhead's 77. Oh, it shot itself and that shell fell way short because of it. Oh, it seems like more guns have come online on the broadhead. Uh, the AI must have been repaired. Yep, the, the rear two guns are also firing now. Giving the, the broadhead uh, three penetration depth guns and its HE gun to fire on the board cube with. Which I think is going to be enough to finish off. Oh uh, yes, the barrels are so damaged they're all the way back here and now that foam and spaced armor is uh, working against the, the board cube because the barrels have been sheared off so deep into the craft. Uh, that shell might be good, that could cause a, a turret pop if it hits in the right spot. And it did, it blew off the HE turret. That, that shell didn't look like it would do much of anything hitting there. It's the, the Broadhead's quite a resilient ship, too. Yeah, I mean, its guns tend to, to get blown off, but that's why it has eight of them. Because it only needs two, three of them to actually kill a ship. Yeah, the, the board cube is in some serious trouble right now, it's looking like. It's still, uh, it's still backing away. It's still doing its thing that it does, but uh, its guns are not as operable as they need to be. It has one gun basically right now, and I think one of those shells may have just taken it out because that that looked like it was hitting right in that area. Nope, it survived. So it is still there. It is still gonna be able to fire. Looks like it's taking some gauge damage though. That barrel is not as big as it should be. Oh, oh, it looks like the board cube or the the uh, broadhead lost another gun. It's only got two left now. Yeah, that that's the that's the key to defeating the broadhead is just you destroy all its guns and obviously it's gonna lose. But the uh, those center two guns, even uh, one of them did pop. The other that that they are the uh, the safest guns on the ship. They are pretty. Di they are the most difficult to pop, even though not. All of, they're not all that difficult, honestly. They're a bit fragile. Uh, that was one of the downsides. One of the things I did not like about the, the Broadhead's design, but... 
I didn't have time to go back and change and fix that. Yeah, the broadhead is keeping afloat. Just fine right now. Still raining shells down on the, the board cube. The board cube's firing back with its one gun. Oh, that shell actually over-penetrated. Wow. Both ships at 72%. Very even ground right now. But it seems like the uh, the broadhead's putting more effect... Even though they're the same block count hit point wise. Uh, but it seems to me that the broadhead is putting down more effective fire. Except when it over penetrates like that. That's, uh, that's no bueno. Broadhead's repairing up to 73%. Borg cube down to... 73% as well. Oh, but it went back down to 72 from that uh, volley. We have another over penetration. I think that that's not so much an over penetration as it just kind of missed because the ship isn't there anymore. <laughs> yeah, the broadhead's having a little bit of trouble finishing off its opponent with only two of its guns and it keeps over penetrating. Uh, it seems like that last gun that was operating, yeah, the barrel has been sheared off and is now behind the armor, so it's going to be unable to fire. Or if it does, it's going to blow up the its own ship. Uh, this, yeah, that puts the, uh, the, the board cube in a rather awkward position, because now the broadhead's able to repair and get damage downrange, while the board cube is forced to just sit here and kind of take the beating that the broadhead gives it. Is that an overpen? Yep, another overpenetration. That is the downside of having shells uh, that penetrate so far. It's kind of easy for them to overpenetrate and then not detonate. They don't do anywhere near as much damage. Another overpenetration. But yes, they, these uh, the guns do have separate AIs. Which I guess is why you keeps you see them aiming at uh, differing spots. Well, it seems the repair bots on the, the board cube are. I don't know what they're doing. They're just kind of doing a synchronized dance back here. May have uh, bugged out or something. Maybe they can't reach the destination that they're trying to repair. They should be able to. I'm not sure why they're doing that. But it, that is uh, definitely not a good thing the board cube. Oh, it seems to have gotten a gun back online, so that that's good. The shot missed, but uh, its weapon is operable again. Whereas the, uh, the board... the broadhead's had the same two guns for a while now, but it is... whoops. Whoopsie whoops. <laughs> it is repairing. Uh, it doesn't seem to be doing much in the repairs on in the way of guns, though, it's but the, the hull is looking good. There's no more holes in the hull anywhere around it. So the repair bots will probably be working on the guns next, but I don't know how much more in the way it, ha it has in the way of resources. That may be the board cube's problem as well. It may be out of resources to repair. That's why the repair bots were just kind of... Are they still just sitting here dancing? No, they're not here. I don't know where they are, but they're not there. They're out, they're out repairing now. The board cube seems to be slowing down, and the broadhead is slowly making its way around to the side. Which is going to help it deal more damage, because it'll stop over-penetrating as much, most likely. We are down to a minute and six seconds left on the clock. And as it stands right now, the Broadhead has a very commanding lead in uh, hit points. So I think this, this round three is going to go to the Broadhead and declare it the victor. So that's a, a bit of a surprise. I was I was very worried about this match. I didn't think the Broadhead was going to have what it takes to to weather the storm of fire that the uh, the Borg Cube can put out. I mentioned that a couple times in videos with the Borg Cube. 
but it managed. It didn't do it in the first match, but in the second and third ones, it, it managed to uh, to pull it off. And then also the sledgehammer was eliminated by the BB, by the BB15. That's a, that's a surprise. I kind of half expected those two to be the, in the finals. Oh, and there we go. That is time. I was a little late in uh, pushing the button there, but what am I? Oh, I'm trying to push the wrong. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, it doesn't matter. There's a 20% difference, even if that last shot knocked off 5% hit points, which we know it didn't. It would still uh, be a clear victory for the broadhead, which is, like I say, I'm, I'm rather surprised. I, I was hopeful that it could manage to do this, but I really didn't think it'd be able to pull it off. But it did. It uh, the broadhead is the winner here. Uh, condolences to Delta Force, but uh, you're not out of the tournament yet. You'll get a second chance. You're going down to the secondary bracket where you you may just end up facing the sledgehammer, that, the battle that everybody wants to see. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I did, and I will see you on the battlefield.